Welcome back to PGHN Design. We are going to finish up the rest of the part with the stone setting and completed this middle grain design. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna finish up this ring. If you haven't watched the first part, I will have the right top corner so you can take a look at first so you will know how we're getting into this part. Last video, we were talking about how to do the calculation so it will flow nicely and there's no gap in between for the accurate calculation. The second part, we are going to finish up the ring and for the stone setting. So I'm going to select my curve and simply just creating another layer and send them into uh, change the object to that layer so it's not bothering us with all the work that we have done. Uh, let's simply just select everybody beside this curve because we already have that surface and let's join everybody together. And we are going to do is the sweep one rail. This is a rail. This is the cross section and we'll finish this ring over here. Let me turn them into a different color so it's easier for you to see once we open this back. All right, now with this one, double make sure that everything is touching. You actually have to intersect this part into the green part, that's good. And let's join those back together so it will be a solid. And once again, let me turn it into the green color. All right, so if everything look good, it's all intersect really well and you will have no problem to the bowling. Let's take a look on the stone setting. For the stone setting, you can download the stone for this demonstration. I will have the link at the description below. Or if you like to learn how to making a diamond, I will have the video link on the right top corner so you can take a look how to make your own diamond. So I bring in the stone uh, by importing the model and I'm going to bring this one up uh, so we can see from the top view. At the top view, I simply just going to scale it down and to take a look on that if I can fit in into the space with all those uh, shape. So I'm going to come in here and make sure they were fitting into the diamond shape without cutting too much into the metal. So that's a line is really nice over here. So this will be the size I'm working on, maybe just a little bit bigger. All right, so once we have that, I'm going to turn off everything else so it's easier for us to see to, to make in this stone. First of all, I'm gonna come in over to the right view and I'm going to draw a bar straight down like this. And this is going to be our beads, uh, all the prong, and I'm going to simply pipe it. So I'm going to make it a little bit fatter just because I wanna make sure that the casting will come up really nice. And we are going to moving this one up. You don't wanna cut it into the stone too much. It's roughly about 20, 30%. And then I'm going to mirror to the other side to be something like this. Okay, and double make sure we wanna turn on um, this over here and to make sure that we will have the prong is actually touching the frame so that way we will have a good contact for the casting. All right, and then next things I wanted to do, it's creating the sitting for the stone to sit in there. So in this case, I'm going to draw a rectangle and just moving the rectangle in a little bit. And simply, I'm going to go for the revolve for 360 degree, and then I will get the box over there underneath it. Now there's a, a lot of uh, the stone setting concept that I don't have the time to explain every detail in this video, but I have a stone setting course if you are interesting that you can check out that course that teach you all different kinds of a stone setting, including the fancy cut. Now let me go ahead to temporary to group it just in case we might need to change things. And I want to turn on my design over here. Let's try it to make it lower by bringing it down like this and see how they fit it in there. Of course, this one will need to have the angle, but before I just do in the angle, I also want to pick up this uh this set and i want to making a copy by control c and control v and bring that one back to the center of my ring and just in case i need to do some adjustment 
And then so for this one, I'm going to move it up just a little bit. You always want to have the girdle sitting on the surface. So that will look much better and maybe sitting in like that. Double make sure it is still right in the center. So I'm going to simply just move it down a little bit. So visually it's looking right at the center. And you kind of notice that my prong is higher than it's supposed to be is because uh, you do need a little bit extra for the jeweler to set and they will finish and to have the prong uh, lower. All right, so in this one, I'm going to turn it 90 degree and bringing up the same high with the first one that I have. And what I like to do is using the rotation tool and I want to move it to this place over here. There you can adjust it the, where the location is. If you want to make sure it, to, it is really accurate, you actually want to using the rotate tool instead of just move. For the other one, I'm actually going to use my rotate tool again and snapping into this one. This time I want to make a copy and make sure this one is in the right place. And all we need to do is bring this one down a little bit. So that way we'll see in the place right. If it is not in the right place, you can always using the rotate tool, snapping into the center and try to bring it back a little bit. This setting and this setting over here, all we need to do on that one is to mirror to the other side by snapping into the zero. So that way that will fit in there. For this one, I cannot mirror it because that won't be accurate. Uh, I actually need to rotate it. Center is zero here and copy equal yes. And we are going to go from here to here and double make sure that if it is in the right place, it looks like I need to do a minor adjustment because the prongs stick it more on this side. So again, I'm going to use a rotate tool and make sure copy is equal no now. And we are going to just move it back a little so it look even. So now the stone is sitting in the right place. I'm going to pick up all the stone right here. And remember we were doing about uh, seven sections. So I'm going to, going to do the same with the polar array, snapping into the zero and the number of the item is a seven. So we can have all the stone setting into the right place and let's turn it back to the ring. So we will have something like that. For the side of the B setting, I have a lot of a video talking about this B setting in the row and you can check out a whole playlist for the B setting. I also have a course for the stone setting class that will teach you in the detail how to arrange those beads. If you are interested in the course, please check out my website and that will be our Minogran B setting band here. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and comment and let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next.